In this video, we'll introduce the idea of equivalent annual cost. And you will use this idea moving forward in this course. So it's important that you understand the concepts um, described in this particular video. In subsequent videos, we'll actually solve problems. But this video, we'll, we'll just talk about the idea of equivalent annual cost. Equivalent annual cost for the purpose of engineering economics is usually split into two components. The first component relates to our investment in capital. And that relates to the purchase price of whatever asset we buy, as well as the salvage value um, that we receive at some point down the road. And it's, it's probably best described uh, with a cash flow diagram. So simply put, at some point, uh, time t equal to zero, we purchase an asset for P, and at some point in the future, we sell it for a value of S. And the whole point behind equivalent annual cost is that I would like to convert these cash flows, this investment and this return, into an equivalent cash flow that looks like this. Maybe just, I'll draw it with four time periods, and this could be four time periods, it doesn't really matter. Um, what I'm looking for is the value of A that is equivalent to this value of P and this value of S. So in the past, we used a factor called the capital recovery factor when we were converting a P into an A. We introduce a new formula in this um, section of the course um, where we incorporate the S into the determination of A. And in rather just, than just A, we actually call this now the EAC, equivalent annual cost. And the formula we use for that looks like this. The EAC is equal to the purchase price minus the salvage value times the A given P factor for a certain interest rate and a certain number of ownership periods plus a little correction factor salvage value times the interest rate. And if you're interested to see where this formula comes from, most finance or economic, engineering economics texts will show you the derivation of this. But it's important to realize that this formula is simply how we convert a P and an S into an equivalent annual cost, or essentially into an A. We refer to this um, as the EAC capital. And in finance and engineering economics, when we talk about capital, we're really just talking about some investment amount. So EAC, capital, an investment amount that goes into purchasing an asset, typically. So this has salvage value, purchase price, all rolled into one formula, and it allows us to express these investments and returns as an equivalent annual cost. Now this is one component of equivalent annual cost. Most problems have another component of equivalent annual cost, and that relates to other things that occur during the time of ownership. So yes, we buy this asset at time t equal to zero, we sell it at, in this case, n equal to four, um, but as we own it, we may incur other expenses. We may have other things like repair costs. Sometimes these are referred to as operating and maintenance costs. And our second task in calculating equivalent annual cost is to calculate the equivalent annual cost. And typically it's abbreviated by O and M. So our equivalent annual cost for operating and maintenance. Now, we don't really have a formula for that because this pattern of uh, cash flows can be anything. So we have to rely simply on our time value of money 
skills to convert some series of sometimes scattered or random costs into an equivalent annual cost. So what I'm trying to do here is take these costs and again convert them to an equivalent annual cost. So most of the time what I end up doing is taking these costs, bringing them all back to the present, and I would do that using a, a P given F factor for each of these depending on how far out in time they are. And then once I've done that, I would use an A given P factor to convert the sum of all of these present values of these payments into an equivalent annual cost. Once I've done that, so once I have my equivalent annual cost, I'll just say this, once, I've, once I have my equivalent annual cost for capital, so that's the EAC related to the purchase and salvage, and I have my equivalent annual cost um, for operating and maintenance, or repairs, or whatever it is, I sum those to get what I call the EAC total. And the whole point of calculating the equivalent annual cost is in order to make decisions about how many years should I own a piece of equipment so that I minimize my equivalent annual cost of ownership. In our equivalent annual cost of operating and maintenance, we may see situations where we will own, we'll decide we're going to um, only own the equipment for one year or, and we'll evaluate that. We may try another scenario where we own the equipment for two years, another scenario where we own it for three years, and depending on the pattern of costs, we end up with a different equivalent annual cost. Similarly, if we decide to evaluate a scenario where we only own a piece of equipment for one year then sell it, we will typically approximate the salvage value uh, using the depreciation of that equipment so that we can evaluate a scenario of owning the equipment for one year, two years, three years for both the capital component as well as the operating and maintenance component. And then when we sum those two components, Whatever number of years gives us the minimum total equivalent annual cost is the number of years we should own that equipment before we sell it.